is 11B, which is recommendation to, recommendation to raise a hard defect loan fee from 400 to 500. <coughs> Mayor and Council, um, the, the issue that we've run, run into here is the cleaning fee. Um, the, um, the, the cleaning fee costs uh, approximately $125 for uh, cleaning the depot each time it's used. And um, we can absorb that within the $400. That, of course, reduces the, uh, the amount that we would clear over the rental of the fee. And there's just an overall concern that there's going to be enough to cover the overall operation of the continuous power that's used as well as the um, uh, other services uh, that are that are offered within the depot so uh, we had a couple of options here I, a lot of a lot of places routinely add a cleaning fee along to their rental fee um, for efficiency's sake uh, perhaps if the cleaning fee were included we could simply uh, raise the fee from 400 to 500 dollars but uh, we wanted to ask for your input uh, into this and uh, see what see what uh, what your thoughts were um, as far as the amount as far as that was concerned. Um, we didn't do a study like we did last time of uh, cleaning fees uh, among the various rental places. Although we did get an indication that most places do charge a cleaning fee, um, that was just something that did not arise into our research when we originally had this recommendation. For the 400 before you. So uh, it is a nominal increase, we believe, but uh, one that I think will better uh, serve to protect the building and, uh, you know, ensure that uh, it's available for use for uh, other organizations that want to, want to contact us. You know, when you lease a, when you lease a, Say you own the VRBO and you, you, you lease a spot. You pay, you, you know, they advertise so much for the lease, and then the clean fee is added to that, and right. all the different fees are added to that, which shows that you're paying this for rental, but then you're going to be responsible for paying for cleaning and the like. Is there a way that we can? Well, uh, we can probably keep, separate that out and just say we can okay, keep it at 400 and just do a separate cleaning fee of 125. Along with it, or just keep it at 100. I mean, right. 125 is the amount of cleaning fee right. that uh, that we charge. So, right. I think it explains a little bit more about what exactly what you're is. paying for. Sure. What 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 actually is going into um, uh, they're using it and, and what those costs are going to be. That makes sense. We kind of separated it. We didn't feel like we could authorize doing that without coming back before you uh, and. Um, making sure that the council was okay with charging the cleaning fee. So we wanted to bring this uh, before you in and uh, see if that would be all right to add that. Do you think that the, <coughs> the current rate of 400, is 400, right? Correct. The current, do you think that the current rate of 400 is just not, is not sufficient because we're having to absorb the 125 cleaning fee, and they're, am I hearing that correct? That's correct. That's right. At least about 275. That's that, right. That 275 is considered to cover what? General maintenance? Of the General maintenance of the building, <laughs> utilities, uh, internet cost, um, um, the uh, power consumption as well. Um, is that something that just possibly wasn't anticipated in the previous council discussions about when we set the Initial fee of 400. That's right. It's finding, so you're finding that this 400 is insufficient for these reasons. We think it will be. I mean, we couldn't probably do a, a, a thorough budget analysis of it until maybe a fiscal year had been done to see if it was actually breaking even. How many times has it been leased or rented? Twice and once. <clears throat> Just once. Once. Is there a, is it, before this place was even finished and up, up and ready for business? It seemed that there was a, uh, a desire for people, I, I think. We had some calls to uh, our HMA president here tonight, as in fact, with people calling her in, in reference to it and City Hall and so forth. So, but I guess my question is, uh, is there going to be a, you feel like there's going to be a lot of interest in using this regularly throughout the year? I think it's starting to book now. Start book. Start book. We've had a couple of bookings mm -hmm. out them, uh, since since that time. And based on all of this, we don't you don't anticipate that the 400 would be sufficient. 
It's not looking that way. You can let the cleaning fees. Let the cleaning fees include these other It's not looking that way. It's not looking that way. But we can keep it. I mean, if that's what the council would like, I, you know, we can and see how go through a budget cycle and just kind of see how it goes. But um, this this was the thought that we had coming back from it. What do you pay right now to reserve it? Four hundred, <clears throat> and then that is the payment to the, to to. I thought that was a deposit. So that's the deposit, and then you pay four hundred per minute, and then once you leave it, like found it and. On that, then you get your $400. Will the deposit still be 400 Or will it be a 500 deposit, 500 rent? I think, I think the 400 and 400 I just think the cleaning fees, the big, yeah. big thing. So either, yeah. add, either, add a fee, either add a 125 or something like that, $100 uh, fee, or raise the rent and incorporate the cleaning fee into the new raised yeah. right. price. Okay. Because we have to have somebody go in and check it before somebody goes in to make sure everything's dusted and clean. And then when they're finished, you have to make sure that it's clean before. Who does that? Parks and Rec? No, Willie B does that. Come well, on. I mean, will they go in and check? I mean, they, oh, who, yeah. who, who's yeah. generally maintaining and, and spending time? We just have I imagine we have some kind of uh, work being devoted by Parks and Rec employees. Is that not right? It's Lamont's so, Lawrence. We we retained someone specially for uh, oh, the sort of the oversight of the depot. Oh, it's a per and, and basically that's so his a per use. It's a per use. That's his fee. That's right. He sort of oversees it, and that's what he charges to uh, come in and clean it. Is the one twenty five. It checks it before they rent it, and after they leave that night and clean it up. Oh, that's fair for that amount of money. Yeah. Was well, five hundred going to do it, or should it be five twenty five? Oh well, I just saw it for a round figure, but I mean, if, if 525, 525 would cover it completely. If you wanted to include the cleaning fee within the rental, or if you just want to, like Councilman Barfield said, just tack it on and just say, so that's that's a fee. there's a what, there's a cleaning fee associated with it. So right. if you're for 400, keep it at 400. Deposit's 400, and then that's that's plus your 125 cleaning fee. Right. You think that would be a better way of doing it? It looks better to me. Wait, I, mean, you, I think it's better. Are you keeping it at 400? Keeping, keeping it at 400, uh -huh. but then adding on 125. Oh, so which they got to run. Which uh, I'll just tell you, we've heard from, from a lot of folks is a jam up deal. Really? For a bill oh, I can tell you, yeah, 125, that's way more than fair. Especially if he goes in before and after. He ain't making any money on that. Oh, I was just talking about a $400 rental. I mean, that, oh, yeah, yeah, people. Well, I suggested that was a yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, they have people have told me that that's way cheap, but yeah. not to raise it before they rent it. So, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right. Now. <laughs> if that's the case, then going ahead and adding it to it, it's no problem with me. I just, you know, oh, just right. think or whatever y'all want to do. Well, no, it though is more palatable that we left the rental fee the same amount, we, but unfortunately we've had to add the rental, the cleaning fee. And it goes to the so, fact that this building is, is really for the community. I mean, sure. it's a service mm -hmm. for the community. If we want it to be rented, we don't want to price it out, obviously, in anybody's uh, range. So. I mean, we didn't raise the rental fee, but unfortunately we've had to pass along the cleaning fee, cleaning which is the one that's right. Right. So, I'll Again, we, we keep in mind here that, that you know, we don't have a year yet experience with this. Right. At the end of the year we can evaluate it and see how many people what our input and, mm -hmm. and, and what the feedback was and, and we can come back and adjust these things at the end of the year. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well based on all that I, I just say I agree with an increase similar to the two options that were mentioned. I don't see much difference in the two as long as the amount is covered overall. So just adding a cleaning fee of 125 on top of what we are bargaining. Yeah. Understood. Okay.